Hello, good morning. I have a question for you. It's not the question you think. I need to know, how many of you think messenger bots are annoying? Now, I understand you all don't know me. You don't want to hurt my feelings. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Let me know. Come on, be honest. To put them up. How many of you think messenger bots are annoying? Thank you. Thanks for being honest. I do too. It is my goal in life to make sure that y'all leave here with a plan that makes your messenger marketing amazing. Thank you. Now listen, there are three things that people hate about messenger marketing. Number one, boring. Oh, y'all, I hate boring. I'm not gonna stand up here and try to give you a boring message because that's not what we're doing today. That's right. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. That's what your subscribers wanna feel. I trust you. I don't want you to let me down. Do not Rick roll your fans, friends. Yeah. Yes, they do not like that. Who wants to be Rick rolled? I love that song, by the way, but I don't wanna be Rick rolled. And finally, annoying chatbots. We can't have them, mm-mm. So today, don't sweat it, I got your back. I'm going to show you how, crash course time, not to be annoying or boring, and I'm gonna help you to start thinking of your brand as if you are a celebrity, because you need to take your subscribers and you need to turn them into fans. Yes. All right, 100% I think believe that boring is no fun. Is that about? I like boring. Really? It's You're gonna do this to me right now? Fine. 99.9% .9 of people believe that boring is no fun. So friends, you're about to enter the no boring chatbot zone. Woo! That's right. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. It's your brand with a brand new rendition. You need to start thinking of your brand voice. Now I know the amazing now marketing crew was up here. Let's give them a hand real quick. That's right, they were talking to you about brand voice, tone. Who do you want to be out there? It doesn't matter if you're a personal brand. You could be Brian Fanzo over here, personal brand. Think like a fan. Or you can be now marketing, you could be a company. You have to figure out what do we wanna be out there. We learned yesterday, it's no longer B2B, B2C. We are in a human to human. We are in a exciting time right now where we can be more us, more authentic. We can touch more people. We have to remember on the other side of that screen is a human. Hello. So you need to start thinking about the person on the other end. So when you're sending a message in messenger marketing, you're not sending an email. This is not one to many. People ask me, how many of you, how, where are my bot stars at? Woo! That's right, there we go. I do uh, 80 style chatbot tutorials on YouTube. And people ask me all the time, how do you bring so much energy? Friends, I bring energy to everything I do. You get a messenger uh, ping from my messenger bot, energy. You watch my videos, energy. Woo! I'm gonna fall off this stage exhausted because I'm gonna give you all of me today. Energy, how do I do it? When you're sending a message out, when you're recording that video, when you hit the damn button, you need to think about your best friend. I think about BV. <laughs> and then you're gonna turn it up. Turn it up to a thousand. Why do you do that? Honey, if you're giving a hundred percent, they feel 10. You give a thousand percent. Pump it up and they will feel a hundred. Be flexible, be flexible. This is a fast moving early adapter situation we're in here right now. How many of you wish that you were in the uh, email marketing thing back in the nineties? Hello. How many of you wish you would have gotten into Facebook ads right away? Wild Wild West. That's where we're at right now. Time out. F8 just rolled through. 
Mark Zuckerberg, big boy on campus, right? Leader of the pack over at Facebook. He's telling us Messenger will be the foundation for everything we're going to do. So if you're still sitting there going, nah, nah, Messenger marketing is not for me. Well, friend, it is for you because we are in the wild, wild west, but things are about to get real. In fact, the people at Facebook, they said if they could do it over, they would do it with Messenger first. But you gotta be flexible. Messenger changed like five times this morning. Gotta be flexible. Y'all saw the first message that we sent out on uh, day one of the conference. It sent out both the morning message and the end of the day message. Now, after I recovered from my minor stroke, I found a really nice gift, sent it out. Did I do that? Who all saw that? Anybody? Anyone in the messenger bot? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The thing is, you got to be human. We are all human. And if we use humor, people don't care. Be human. Roll with it. Be flexible. It's okay to fail. Failure is the way to the future. It is the way to success. Surprise and delight. That's how you turn subscribers into fans. I want fans. I don't want fans. I want raving fans. I want people to come up to me like this morning and tell me I love your videos. I had Dean yesterday interviewing me. He told me, I obsess over all your videos. I just watched the one with email marketing. That was the last one that went out. So he legit watches them. You want raving fans. You want people out there telling your story. Chatbots have the potential to scale and provide personalized interactions in the way that hasn't been possible before. I am not messing with you. We are in a very exciting time. We have so many tools available to us that we can be more human, more personalized. Our fans can be excited to be a part of our community. Now here's the thing. I know many of you are sitting in this room. I've heard it many times before. I can't use messenger marketing. I need to have personalized interaction with my customers. They don't want to talk to a robot. Now, I have my bot stars in here. And people know that if you're in my community, if you're in Baby Got Bot, if you're rolling into my DM and you have questions, I got answers. If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Just because I'm using messenger marketing does not mean I take out the human element. You have to be there for your fans. You want fans, you need to be there for them but you can scale it. You can make more people feel your love. All right, so when it comes to brand voice, you have your personal brands, your influencers, your celebrities, you got your Brian Fangio's, you got your Damien Ross's. Damien is very famous here in Lima, very famous. Then you have things like a mascot. Now, how many of you are working with brands where you can't really have a personal, and please raise the hand. I need to, I do not have my glasses on. I couldn't wear them with the thing. So hands up, how many of you are representing a brand? Now, I understand, thank you. I understand it can be difficult to have that human element when you're a brand, especially if you're coming in through a DM, like a messenger marketing. So that's why I say create a character, create a mascot, something that can represent you, a chatbot assistant, if you will. Now, when I first started doing messenger marketing, I own Stellar Media Marketing. I've been a digital marketer for the past 12 years. And I started with Mika Bot. Now, Mika here is my chat dog assistant. And before I started sending my messages out, I thought about what would my character be? What does this, this assistant look like? What do they sound like? What kind of words would they use? I don't think you can see that. It's very small and I don't have my glasses on. Why, hello there, Kelly. Personalize the experience, anyone? Welcome to the Kelly Bot experience. I am Mika Bot, Kelly's chat dog assistant emoji. I am here to fetch things for you. If you would prefer to speak directly to Kelly, a human, yes, they're alive and well and they will talk to you, just let me know. Type Kelly. I'll go fetch her and drag her away from whatever kid is attached to her leg. Now, again, I've been doing this 12 years. I have two little kids. My six year old thinks she is famous. I have to lock my door because if I'm going live, She's going live. Back in 2016, I had just had a baby and I would strap her to me. I had a course called uh, Facebook Live Pro. It was my most successful course to date. 
and I had to promote it. <laughs> so I naturally would do it on Facebook Live. I would strap the baby to me and I would go live and say, hey, when she wakes up, we're done. Talk about not using excuses. You gotta get that done, push the damn button. But people know me for this. I'm human, I'm a mom first, I'm a wife. I'm a business owner. I'm more than a messenger bot, right? Feel free to bring the human touch to your messenger marketing, to your character. Cause you gotta have fun when you got bots, hon. <laughs> Oops, wrong direction. But how can chatbots make me more human? How can we translate that? I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I know about y'all, but when I was a teenager, I had to run out and get me some team beat. What's Andrew Keegan doing? He's fine. I don't know what he's doing anymore. Girl, I'm married, come on now. Back then, Andrew Keegan, what you up to? You dating that girl from, you know, Full House? You like peanut butter jelly sandwiches too? We were excited. How many of you had like a celebrity crush back in the day, right? Yes, all the ladies are like, of course. <laughs> Guys are like, don't look in my room, I still got that poster up. It hasn't changed. We want access. We can't get enough. I wanna know who's pregnant, who's having a baby, who's divorced, who's getting married. I don't care about those Kardashians, I don't care. Everyone else, yes! Are the royals really having trouble? Meghan Merkel's not getting along with the queen! We want access. You need to start thinking of your brand like a celebrity. That's how you take subscribers and you turn them into super fans. Y'all need to wake up. How do you do it? How do you do it? BV. <laughs> BV is how you do it. You've got to give fans insider information. Now here is a mistake that I see a lot of businesses make. They think, all right, we're gonna just do FAQs. That's what they want, right? That's the insider information. We're gonna answer all the boring questions, boring chatbot questions. No, you can do that. You can certainly give information that comes up a lot, but don't overthink this. You also want to bring humanity to your brand. Messenger marketing allows you to bring humanity to your brand by giving them access. I'm gonna give you some examples of how to do that in a minute. Let us get to know you. Who are your people? What is your culture? Why should I care? Right, Brian? I'm gonna go buy something else on Amazon until you tell me. <laughs> people don't like being sold to, but man, I got a lot of Amazon boxes waiting for me at home. I like to buy things. You gotta make us feel special. Right? I'm your fan. Make me feel special. Make me feel connected. Make me know you care. Create a community. You might be wondering, how do I create a community with messenger marketing, Kelly? I know someone was thinking that. <sighs> I told you before, we have more tools at our disposal right now. Stop thinking singular. We have so many tools we can connect. I have a very active bot star community over at Baby Got Bot, my Facebook group. You're gonna learn more about Facebook groups by my girl BV, that's why I keep saying her name, she's my bestie. But there are more things that you can tie into your messenger marketing. Direct them to where you can dive deeper. Get to know them deeper. Let's create a community. We are at a time when we are human to human. All right, so now it's example time. We got Christina Milian. Anyone know Christina up here? Yeah, back in the 90s, uh, 2000s, probably more 2000s, she's singer, actress, she's been in a couple movies. This woman knows her messenger marketing. She's got over two million people messaging her. And she's selling product, but I feel like she's my best friend. I feel like she's my best friend. She has access granted. She's like, you don't have to go buy People magazine, just come at me, let's talk. She has this thing called Ask Tina. You can roll in there, she's got pre-made questions that you can ask, you use buttons, it feels very interactive. That's another thing about messenger marketing. Don't talk at them. Get them to click a button, get them to say something. Let them choose, choose your own adventure. I love choose your own adventure books when I was growing up. I like, I'm kind of a control freak, so I like being given a little control. 
So she makes you feel like you are one on one rather than one on many. She uses your name. She comes in here and she has this ask Tina. She, I ask the question, do you, like, do you cook? Do you like to cook? I love to cook. I feel like we're connecting. I'm obviously her fan now. We're friends. We're cool like that. She likes to cook. She tells me she likes to cook because I asked her and she told me. She gave me access. I didn't even know I wanted that access and I feel closer to her brand. This is Christina Milan. She says, celebrities are the trendsetters. People want a way to speak to their fans in a way that's real. They want their voice to be heard in a way that's authentic, real, authentic. Here we are. This is us today. You're all going to walk out of here, right? You're going to be real. You're going to be authentic. You're going to be a human. And you're going to think of your subscribers. You're going to turn them into fans. And you're going to think of them as human. Messenger marketing allows you to be real and authentic with more people. What can we learn from Christina? You want to give fans access. Give your subscribers access to what they want. What is your brand about? What can I learn more about you? What can you give me? As my friend uh, Kevin Knebel says, money is the echo of value. Money is the echo of value. So bring value by giving fans what they want. Use your genuine voice. Now, if you're a personal brand, this is a little easier. You just write like you talk, like you're talking to your best friend times a thousand. But if you are a brand, you really do have to start thinking of yourself as an individual. And that's why the mascot thing works. Sit down, write down that voice, write down that tone. Are we humorous? I suggest you use a little humor. Humor makes us human. And then convert with conversions. Now my girl, Christina, she rolled into my DM the other day. She says, ooh, it's hot in LA. It was, when I left LA, it was like 110. It is hot. Check out this new bathing suit. She had a picture of a bathing suit. You want one like mine? It's really hot. It's, this is the thing right here. You wanna check it out? I got a new line. I was like, girl, it felt like my girl BV or Jen Herman rolling in, telling me about the new like shapeshifter. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> I need that. My girl, Christina, told me about it, right? You can convert with conversation. It feels natural. We feel like our friend is telling us. Ask Gary Vee. Who here knows who Gary Vee is? Thank you. I'm a fan. I know he's not for everyone. It's okay. You don't have to be for everyone. I know I'm not. I mean, I feel like sometimes I am. Gary Vaynerchuk has this little ditty he calls Ask Gary V. It's a show he does. It's a video podcast. And he basically allows people to ask him questions. They call in, ask questions about entrepreneurship and business. He knows what his fans want, right? So he created Ask Gary V. Now, here's the thing. For those of you who were skeptical about, oh, you know, I can't. I got to be in touch. Gary Vaynerchuk actually has said multiple times, if, you can't, if, you, if it diminishes the human touch, you can't scale it. But yet here he is, messenger bot in hand. He's answering questions. He's got his, his videos going out. He's letting more eyes hit his video in a more personalized way. I can learn more about him. And here's the thing that really got me excited, events. Now, I had just given birth to a child back in 2016 when Social Media Marketing World had Gary Vee on, his, on their stage. And man, was I disappointed. I mean, I did have a beautiful rainbow baby, so I wasn't that disappointed. But I wanted to see Gary Vee, so what did I do as soon as I could start walking, which was real soon, because I'm a motivated woman. I went and found out where is Gary gonna be next. Here's the thing, that man moves quick. It was so hard to figure out where he was, so when I rolled into this chatbot and I could find all the time fully updated ways to stalk him, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I'm that girl then I know where he is and I can go see him. This is exciting. I'm a fan. I want access. So he rolls in here with his picture. He's all, Kelly, what up? Kelly, what up? I'm like, what up, Gary? This is my best friend now. We're tight like that. He uses conversational marketing. He's answering questions Gary style. So if you roll in here, he's got a certain set of questions. You click on the one you want answers to. And what he does is he rolls in with like a short and concise answer. You don't have to give them the world. You can link out to other things that explain things in more depth. Keep it conversational. How would you answer your best friend? What's that nugget of advice that you can give? 
So he does that very well. He uses emojis where, where needed, and he personalizes the experience. So things that we can learn from him. Give your fans what they want. We know. It's Ask Gary V. What do people want? They want to ask Gary V. It's kind of obvious. So they let, he lets them ask. He gives them answers. He uses those emojis. He personalizes the experience. What up, Kelly? I still like, I hear his voice. That's what we want. I want you to hear my voice. Jim, you're here, right? Jim Fuse back here. Jim has been in my messenger bot back when I was building lots of games. And one of the best things, I swear, Jim, this was like the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me about my messenger bots. He said, I knew I was in a messenger bot. I felt like I was talking to you. That's what you want. You want people to hear your voice in their head. That's what makes it feel human. Edit, write it, edit, read it, 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 do it again. Make Julie look, look at it because dang, <laughs> there's always something. There's always something. I could look at the word the in an ad and it could be spelled incorrectly and I'm like, I didn't see it. Write it, edit, read it, write it, edit, read it, cut it, cut it, cut it. No soup for you. How many of you Seinfeld fans? It's my dad's favorite show. I have seen every episode. In fact, I'm so good at Seinfeld, I'm creating new episodes in my head when I travel. <laughs> if I had more time, I'd tell you about my husband's uncle who's from New York. He's never heard of a townhome or a, a duplex. That is a Seinfeld episode. Woo! Stop being annoying, y'all. Let's talk about it. All right, now messenger marketing has some rules. Has some rules. As a business, if you are a business, you are a marketer. In my book, you're in marketing. So when I say marketers have the responsibility to understand the rules of the game. If you're gonna play on the platform, you gotta understand the rules. Now it is confusing. It's changing nonstop. I told you this morning, five times it changed. It's all right, there's people like me out there. We got your back. I did like three videos on this already, a webinar, Q&A, like four articles published on rules alone. I live and breathe policy. It's very exciting. 24 plus one, essentially what it means is that you have 24 hours from the time someone interacts with your messenger bot. So that means they subscribe, they click, they comment, they did something. You have 24 hours to send them anything you want within the terms of service. So, you know, no drugs, other things, anything you want. Outside of that, if they don't interact, you have one additional message, you could send it at any time. Now there are 17 tags, messaging tags that you can use to categorize messages and send them without this 24 plus one, but essentially this is the one that most marketers get confused because they think, oh, as long as it's not promotional. Friends, your blog is promotional, okay? You are not CNN, you are not spreading the good word of the national news or international news or whatever. So you need to follow these rules. I love your blog, I read it, it was great. Set expectations. Now I used to be in new home sales. It was my first job out of college. Worked for Pulte Homes, used to sell homes to people. How many of you have bought a home, purchased a home with a mortgage? That is horrifying. I have bought three homes, it's horrifying. So when I got into new home sales, first job, the sales managers, the mentors, they'd say, don't tell people about what's about to happen to them. They will run. And I was like, mm-mm, that's not how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tell them. So they're sitting there signing the paperwork, and I'm like, listen, mortgage company, they're gonna need your firstborn, a pint of blood, and every single piece of paper that you can't find. But don't sweat it, boo, I got your back. I am here to support you and at the end of the day, it's going to be one of the best experiences of your life to own a home. It's a really cool feeling when you own a home. And you know what? I had the highest, first year ever, first job, highest JD Power and Associates customer views that year for my company. They sent me to the Bahamas, yeah. Set expectations. People are freaked out if you don't, but if you give them a roadmap and they know you're on their side, oh, there's a human holding my hand, it's cool. Set expectations, let them know in the messenger bot, yo, this is not a human, <laughs> chop out assistant over here. But we got your back. At any time you can hit stop and unsubscribe, at any time you can type Kelly and talk to a human, set expectations, and oh, by the way, deliver. 
follow through. It doesn't matter how many expectations that you set. If you Rick roll your audience, they will be Do what you say you're going to do. These are life skills, y'all. You can use these in everything you do in life. And then make it easy to unsubscribe. Okay, I got a serious question for y'all. Why you collect in numbers? Seriously. Likes, fans, email subscribers. I got thousands and thousands of subscribers in my, my chat, but I don't know what to do with them. You know what? This is very important. Listen very carefully. I'm going to come back and tell you guys in a minute. The numbers don't matter if the people don't care. The numbers don't matter if the people don't care. Why you collect in numbers? You know what? I've got like less than 800 people in my messenger bot. I could have thousands. I'm the official trainer for ManyChat, y'all. I could have thousands. You know what I did last month and every month before? I deleted 300 people. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I didn't sweat it. I don't care. The numbers don't matter if the people don't care. You need to make sure that you have people in your funnel or whatever you want to call it. Your fans need to love what you've got. Otherwise, they're just noise. You become noise. You become annoying. Bye, Felicia. And most importantly, R-E-S-P-C-T. Right? Respect your audience. Golden rule. Life skills here, people. Life skills. If you don't want it done to you, don't do it to your audience. That's not how you create fans. You got to respect them. If you want to take subscribers and turn them into, come on, people, fans, then you have to respect your audience. And that, my friends, that's how you start thinking of as a celebrity, and that's how you turn subscribers into fans. Y'all, I'm Kelly Noble Mirabella. If you want to learn more about messenger marketing, you can go with that little link right there, and uh, I'll see you in the messenger bot. Thank you. Woo!